section is dealing with the pleating and the waistband. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a marking of a pin at each of the points where the pleats are going to occur, except for the last two. We're going to ignore those. So we're going to put a pin at the base of these at the bottom. And the arrows are going to tell us the direction that those pleats are going to actually lay. So the width of your pleat is going to change according to the size of the pleat that you're making. And once you have the pleats in, or the pins in, what we're going to do is we're going to remove our pattern. And you want to just kind of break that through the paper so that the pins stay in the fabric. Once you have all six of the pins in, or all six of the pleats in, you're going to pull this out of the ironing board and you're going to lay this down so that it's going the direction that the first three pleats are going to lay. So our arrows are going this direction, here's our center, these arrows are going this direction for the other pleats there. The first pin that we come to is going to be what we call the fold line. So you're going to take this and at this pin you're going to fold and the second pin is what we call the lay down line. And you're going to lay that pleat right at that pin and put your pin in to hold it. So again, first pin you're going to fold, second one you're going to lay it down and then pin it in place. We'll go to the third one, and the same thing is going to happen here. We can pull those other pins out. And there's a couple things about pleats you want to make sure that you're not going to do. Um, you don't want to all of a sudden have a pleat that's too big by comparison, because you want to make sure that they're staying even. You want to make sure that your pleat isn't crooked up here at the top. We want to make sure that that lays straight. And you also want to make sure that they're equal distance apart, like we don't want to put a pleat over here and have it all of a sudden have a big span. So you have to be real careful that you follow where your pins are, the fold, and then lay it down. Once you have those three done, you're going to turn this and flip it around. Now the arrows are going this direction. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold again, first pin, lay it down for the second pin. Fold on the first one, lay it down on the second one, put your pin in. And the last one, fold on the first, lay it down on the second, and pin this in place. Once we have your six pleats in, we're going to take our iron and you're going to iron this just lightly across the top of here. Turn this back up. And this is going to hold these pleats until we can sew them across the top. That way the pins aren't going to harm it if they were to come out. You're going to set that aside and what you're then going to do is the waistband. And with your interfacing, one side of the interfacing is rough, um, the other side is smooth and it has glue. You're going to put that smooth side down on your fabric, making sure that it's even on all sides. You're going to take your iron, you're going to iron this on. And once you have that on, you're going to let it cool and that way it's going to be attached to the fabric. Then what you're going to do is you're going to iron this all the way down on one side of the band 
and you're going to iron this again on this side of the band. Then you're going to take this and fold this in half to create your waistband. Once you have that piece all ironed and your pleats, you're ready to go to your sewing machine.